Hey guys! So, as you can probably tell, here I am with our rabbit, new rabbit Timber. Um, he is in the kitchen at the moment, and as you can tell, he's also got his cage, his water bowl, everything in it. The, this cage, you've seen many times. The guinea pigs used it when they were ill. Misty used it when she was ill. And now he's using it. Because yes, well, he's not really ill. Um, but he needs to use it anyway. <laughs> um, because he is kind of, it's not really an illness because it's sort of like not something that he caught. It's something that we kind of made him do. <laughs> that sounds really evil. Um, anyway. We'll start with uh, last Friday we went to get him vaccinated. Um, because he'd never been vaccinated uh, before, so we got him vaccinated. And then we booked an appointment for his neutering, which he had yesterday. So yes, he has indeed been vaccinated. And, um, I mean, neutered. Uh, <laughs> his house is coming on wrecked. Um, but yeah, he's been neutered. He's got some poos in the kitchen, which isn't very hygienic. But they're all in that area. They poos in. <laughs> So it's too bad. Uh, yeah, so he's been neutered. Um, he's, as you can tell, he's actually doing pretty good. This is obviously the day after he's been neutered. It's been over 24 hours since his operation, um, and over 24 hours since he's since he was in, um, since he came from the place. So um, he was in there. He, well, he, 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 we took him in at 8.30 and then we collected him at like 6pm um, and they said he was doing absolutely fine. We were supposed to collect him at 5.30 but we got held up in the traffic and then held up in the vets for like 20 minutes waiting um, to be let in. So, yeah, so um, we got him at 6 and... We were given all his medicine. I'm actually going to show you all his medicine now that he has. This is mainly for the benefit of you guys who want to get your rabbit neutered or have new or 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 are going through neutering. Sorry about that. That was my sister. But yeah, I guess for the benefit of you who are good, who want to neuter the uh, rabbit or going to neuter the rabbit or. Your rabbit is being neutered right now. <laughs> um, yeah, for male rabbits, um, it's supposed to be a pretty easy procedure, not very long at all. And as you can see, he's perfectly fine. I mean, on the paperwork that we got afterwards, which basically all the instructions and everything like that, and all the precautions that we have to take, and all the stuff like that, um, they did. Um, it did actually say that male rabbits would probably get me sleepy afterwards. Well, not male rabbits, but rabbits in particular would just be sleepy afterwards. Um, just a bit here. <laughs> we'll be sleepy afterwards or even sleepy the next day. And he is absolutely fine. He was just raring to go and he was going a bit crazy um, in, the ho in the house. And we have already had to stop him from humping um a hoodie bed <laughs> at some point um if you don't know the hoodie bed was the guinea pigs um and then i gave it to misty and so it's been a miss with misty for ages now he's about to hunt me he's about to hunt me he's about to hunt me it's because i smell like misty so he instinctively wants to hunt me um <laughs> and i'm trying to make sure because obviously he's got stitches and stuff and he's trying to get me okay this is not a good idea, I just have a floor. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, this is something you have to watch out for because you really do not want a male rabbit humping you or humping anything after their nutrient. <laughs> it's actually supposed to, I'm not sure it's all stuff at all, but Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Um, that's only like a couple of weeks afterwards, so he's still hormonal. So he still wants to, even though he doesn't, can't really. I mean, he can still get, he won't get pregnant for like after three weeks, three, six weeks after his operation. There we go, he's coming down now. I was really scared. <laughs> I don't know why I was so scared, but it was just like, 
Um, obviously, because he's got stitches, so I don't want him ruining his um, stitches and stuff like that. He didn't actually have st stitches, I should say. He's got stitches. Um, I'm going to show you his medicine that he's got right now. Right, so this is the first thing he's got. Um, they all come in these little pots. There's three of them. So I'll just go to the other one. That's the other one. That's the other one. So there's three of them. And they come with a syringe each for him. Which, I don't know what they look like. <laughs> they look like this. This is the one for his first medicine. And then he's got a syringe each, so I keep them all separate for each medicine. This is Ranistine. If you don't know what ranitine, ranitidine is, is it's a very, very common medicine that's used for people who, yeah, for people, not just um, for um, rabbits and other pets, but also it's used for um, people um, normally after a sur after surgery, they'll be given the medication. My dad has actually got this <laughs> medication, not in liquid form, pellet. Uh, but um, pills. Um, yeah, dranitidine. Um, he needs to be given 0 0.6 mils. What it's supposed to do is supposed to help um, the stomach, so keep everything moving because when they and an uh, the anesthetic um, just slows down the um procedure. It's child locked, so it's so you can't open it this way. You have to push it down and open it, which I'm not gonna do, but. Yeah, he needs to be given 0.6 miles of that. Um, this is three times a day, so he gets this morning, lunchtime, and then tea time. But he's already had um, each of these already. Um, he's had this one three times already today, and he's had one last night when he came back. This one is to be fed um, twice a day, so morning and evening. This is, you know, one of them is Bait I think. Um, this is Metacan. Um, I do. <laughs> I know one. I know bait. This one. I think. Yeah, bait one. I think that that one is penicillin, and then this one's anti-inflammation um, for him. And yeah, he's given those as well. Um, and they're all kept in the cupboard for him. Ooh, that's kind of funny. He's coming after me again. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I'm having to walk away from him right now. He's got his water bottle there. He's got his pellets there. He's been eating his pellets pretty well. Um, he's got his... Oh, and it... This is actually new that we got him. Oh, we actually got his... Uh, I bought it myself for Misty. Um, but he didn't... He only has that thing, so I, got him, I gave him this. Because um, we're bonding them anyway, so Misty's going to end up having it. We also got him this new ball. Um, the only ball that we got him. Um, he's still got that litter tray. We tried, we looked for a litter tray today actually, um, in Pound Scripture, but he didn't have it. He's supposed to do the same one that Misty has, but he didn't have it. He's got his pellets in there. He's got like two left now, which is really good because that means he's been eating really well. Um, he's been drinking really well as well, so he's actually doing pretty well. You cannot see um, anything there. It's actually his balls that have been shaved and and that and yeah he's got a that appointment tomorrow morning at 9 40 um am so he's going to go to that see how he's doing he's doing pretty well there he's a, he's the first animal that we've had in this pet carrier well not the first we had missed him before but only to take it downstairs but um because mr doesn't like being carried um so he's the first animal that we've had in this carrier um, to go to the vet soon. Misty will be going in it when she has two. But yeah, basically the, all the appointments you'll get is you'll get the first you'll get the first appointment prior to it, where they'll check him all over and they'll check you up over and everything, make sure that it's definitely suitable for their new and staying. I think he was. Um, they'll just obviously a weight check just. Health, general health check and everything like that. Um, then the next time you come um, for his neutering or her spaying, they will health check your rabbit again, make sure that they're suitable for the neutering and spaying again. 
and then they will um, obviously operate on your gummy. And then this will, this normally, we took him in at 8.30 and we had to catch, collect him at 5.30. So you will, your rabbit will be in there for quite a while. Um, you will be given the opportunity in case there is an emergency, because um, you meant to call up the day after. This, well, for me, we had to call up the day after his um, operation, his neutering, um, to tell them what, um, so basically how he's doing, everything like that, and whether we want the appointment for. Today or Sunday, I mean Saturday. <laughs> Getting all the days mixed up. Yeah, today or Saturday. Um, he's doing absolutely fine. Basically, it's just like if he's not eating or he's been messing with his stitches and stuff like that that you have to um, be concerned about. What other than that, no, because he's been eating. He's really healthy. He's really energetic still and very hormonal still, which is to be expected. Um, so yeah, he's doing. Because he's done really well, he's having his appointment. Sorry, he's talking on. Just messing with right now. Yeah, he goes out of school. Go just be talking him in the right places. Yeah, so that that's what happened. You'll have yeah, and then his um, and then obviously on um, on Saturday they go tomorrow. They're going to check. Him over, make sure he's alright, check his stitches are fine, check his general health, ask questions about him, probably weigh him, um, stuff like that. And then you have another appointment in 10 days. Um, and he's trying to help me again. Because he's 